I never thought that marketing would get to me. Like I just, I always thought I was immune to it. Like nothing is gonna ever attract me. I, I know everything about brands and if I wanna buy that, that's fine. I was wrong. <laughs> I was completely wrong, okay? Keep watching to find out what is the big deal with marketing and branding and all the stuff. Denango, and today we are talking all about branding and marketing and icons and logos and just all the stuff all right so today we're talking about the book the brand gap this is called a whiteboard overview by marty newmeyer okay and this is called a whiteboard overview because this is not a typical non-fiction book okay it is non-fiction the genre of the book is marketing and management but the brand gap is all about what brands are not specifically a brand is not a logo okay barbie is a type of dolls under the branding of mattel right the logo the script all of those things can be copyrighted but a brand is the way you feel about a company a brand is thinking about coca-cola and remembering oh i love frozen coca-cola or oh they always wake me up or oh diet cokes are so sharp a brand is a feeling and that was shocking to me <laughs> because when i was younger my mom would never buy brand name food and my dad worked in grocery stores and i figured that's where it came from but they're like you know kellogg makes this cereal they put it in a brand box and then they also sell it in a bag to a regular store but it's the exact same cereal but what i learned from the brand gap is that branding includes multiple things that give you the feeling about a company it includes the packaging which has tony the tiger on it it includes the placement on the shelf which draws your eye when you're in the grocery store versus the 20 pound bags of cereal that are on the bottom of the shelf right branding includes the logo that special cursive K or this special cursive of Barbie that would make you know, I know what that is, right? It, all of those things, the colors, the copyrights, all of the stuff is included in branding, but a brand is not a logo. The swoosh for Nike, that's not a brand. That's the logo representing the company. And I was like, okay, I mean, this is a textbook. It's very small, but this is a textbook. I was almost like the way that it's written, Marty writes in a really clear way where you're just like, I almost felt like I could go take a quiz after this or like I could even instruct or train another person via video or via course because this is a textbook. It is a very, I was gonna say no nonsense, but that's not true. It is a simplistic writing style, which cuts through all of the BS and all of the fluff and just gets you to where's the gap in branding and how can you find it, okay? And the biggest gap in branding when it comes to marketers is that marketing includes, or excuse me, is that branding includes a whole bunch of stuff. It's not just one thing, right? And even the tagline of the book is how to bridge the distance between business strategy and design. Business strategy is an aspect of marketing. Design is an aspect of marketing. So is a logo, so is packaging, so is placement on the shelf all of those things right and so for someone who enjoys marketing for someone who helps other companies with brand visibility i thought it was quite fascinating to find out a brand is not a logo and marty writes about that over and over and over again because i'm sure that's one of the biggest misconceptions he's seen okay so take a look at this i i would definitely read it again and this is honestly one of those books that you buy and just have on your shelf it's almost like a marketing encyclopedia right so yeah i definitely would read this again i definitely would grab it and just have it on the shelf okay so if you are interested in more books about marketing and branding and all that stuff take a look at this book here which is called permission marketing by seth godin all right so i'll see you in the next review